Xiaomi marketing has hit a new all-time low and hit a new level of cringe. Now, what I'm talking about is Xiaomi's 12S Ultra concept phone that they might make a couple models of and sell to like collectors that features the ability to adapt your Leica M mount lenses to it. Now, for some people, they might look at this and be like, hey, this is kind of cool. This is kind of innovative. But this is a partnership with Leica. Leica is a brand that in the photography world is held at like the highest regard. If we're talking about established photography brands that are in the ultra premium price segment, we have Leica, we have Hasselblad, and then we have my personal favorite, Zeiss. And for anyone that has any kind of knowledge or any kind of grasp about the photography world, aspects of photography, the technical aspects of photography, this is just so unbearably cringe. Let me explain why. Now, first of all, it's not the concept. In fact, I think the concept of putting a camera sensor that you can attach lenses to is kind of interesting for like broadcast purposes, similar to what Sony does with their Sony Xperia 1 Pro and the Sony Xperia Mark V. I think that in the future, we're gonna be using 5G possibly for broadcast purposes. And so eventually we are going to have some kind of culmination of internet connectivity and smartphones. and that is a, a really great thing, right? That said, uh, for anyone that understands sensor size, the, the sensor size that Xiaomi put on the back of their 12 Ultra, 12S Ultra concept device is a one inch sensor. Now, traditional 35 millimeter film is 35 millimeters in diagonal. That is the size of the sensor that I'm shooting on right now. So when I put a 20 millimeter lens on my camera, the field of view is equivalent to what we would think of as 20 millimeters. Now, if I use an APS-C camera or a camera with a one and a half times smaller sensor, my 20 millimeter lens now becomes a 35 millimeter lens because ultimately we are only using the like innermost portion of the lens to broadcast or to accept that image that is being transmitted through the lens. Now, if we use a one inch sensor, which is the sensor that Xiaomi is using in this concept phone, we have a three X crop factor, meaning we have to multiply the field of view. We have to multiply the focal length times three times. So a 20 millimeter, which we would consider an ultra wide lens would now become a 60 millimeter lens, which is close to portrait length. Now, this isn't really cool because a lot of lenses that are made for full sensor or full size sensors have a certain amount of resolving power, meaning the lens can actually uh, transmit so much detail that the sensor can pick up. And when we have to transmit that to a smaller sensor, you begin to see more of the imperfections in the lens. For the most part, this is a bad thing unless you want specific characteristics, which is why I bought old lenses. But in general, lenses are going to look worse when you like zoom into a specific small amount of glass. The images that would even be captured by this Xiaomi 12S Ultra concept with any of the Leica lenses are going to look completely different from how they would look on a Leica, right? They are not going to have the same field of view. Your 24 millimeter is now going to become a 72 millimeter lens, and that is completely losing out on the point of using Leica glass. It's essentially zooming in, cropping, 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 and cropping in on this small portion of glass. And that is for people that are like inside the photography world that understand how this works. For people outside of the photography world, it almost cheapens the Leica branding to, to have this kind of collaboration, especially with a phone brand that isn't necessarily regarded as the highest or best quality. And this is just such a clear marketing ploy for Xiaomi to try to stay relevant and Xiaomi try to stay in the news cycle and for Xiaomi to ultimately try to leverage as much as they can out of this Leica partnership that it's absolutely disingenuous, it's fake, and honestly, I understand why. 
because since SOCs have kind of plateaued and users began to not really be able to tell the difference between a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and a Snapdragon 865 in regards to the 90% of things that we use our smartphones for, the fact that Xiaomi is giving you the newest SOC at the cheapest price has mattered less, less, and less, especially as manufacturers are focusing on software more. So Xiaomi's ultimate kind of relevancy in the smartphone ecosystem is kind of diminishing. We've seen their sales begin to slide and doing this partnership with Leica to allow people to fantasize about playing photographer on your one inch sensor smartphone, in my opinion, is a joke and it just ultimately cheapens the brand. And it's just such a bad publicity stunt that I'm disappointed in Xiaomi because they used to be a decent brand and now they just, are kind of a punchline. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Peace.